We had the greatest psychological advantage in the world at Iowa because I inherited a group of young men who had been called losers. They couldn't win. They'd had their rump kicked and for a long, long period of time. And uh, they were the easiest people in the world to motivate. They accepted the hard work, the discipline, the organization. And, uh, and I believe it was our third year we won the Big Ten here and turned it around. And so it was very enjoyable. And uh, I had great coaches. Never hired an assistant coach in my life that I, if I, unless I was completely convinced that he was motivated to become a head coach. Then I knew he'd study the game, he'd be ethical, he'd, he'd see that his players graduated, do the things that a head coach should do. And uh, through the years, I had 26 become head coaches in college, pro ball, or uh, a couple of them became general managers. Uh, Ted Thompson is still a general manager at Green Bay Packers, and Harold Richardson's already retired at Atlanta Falcons. And, and the head coach, the Dallas Cowboys, he used to bounce him on my knee when his daddy, Bum Phillips, was my defensive coordinator at SMU. So I've been very, very fortunate to be associated with winners, with, with great people. I'm so old now that 10 of my coaches out of the 26th part are retired. Of course, one of them's come back out of retirement, Bill Snyder. <laughs> and he'll do a great job getting the Kansas State back on top. And, uh, but uh, that's just been the story of my life. I'm sure that the Marine Corps had a lot to do with the discipline and the organization that I brought to my position as the head coach. And, but you know what? In junior high, uh, I quarterbacked a team that was undefeated. In high school down in Odessa, Texas, a quarterback the team that was 14 and 0, won a state championship, and we played all the biggies. We only had 9,000 population in this little all filled town, but we were all hungry. We were tough kids. We were roughneck, pipeline, worked in the all field, and we were we all thought we could win. And not so much of the mental part of turning a program around. And I think that all the Hawkeyes just wanted that opportunity, and. Uh, the coaches did a wonderful job, and uh, the fans were so loyal and supportive that, frankly, uh, I was the easy job up to my last year. And, and, of course, you guys didn't know I had prostate cancer, and, and I didn't know about it for a long time because I had a PSA of 65. And uh, my defensive coordinator, Bobby Elliott, he was coming in the front door of the University of Iowa Hospital to get chemotherapy, and they were slipping me up the back to get radiation, and uh, we were able to keep that a secret. And uh, and then just recently, Donnie Patterson, my offensive coordinator after Bill Snyder left, he had <coughs> lung cancer and cancer of the esophagus. And so it's, it's amazing what we accomplished, really. And I've told, uh, I've told a story. One of the greatest compliments I ever had is Coach Joe Paterno told me one time at a Big Ten meeting, he leaned over and he said, Coach Fry said, I just want you to know that I vote for you Coach of the Year every year. I said, man, that's a great compliment, Coach Paterno. Why would you do that? He said, well, just out of curiosity, I looked at the Iowa Almanac to see what the population of your state was. 2,600,000 at the time. He said, uh, you know, within 100 miles of my campus, I've got 75 million people. So what I'm saying to you is that out of necessity, I know you have to recruit nationwide at the University of Iowa, and we don't have to do that here. And so that, uh, that's one of the first things I told Coach Ferentz, you know, to make sure you understand what your major problem will be. Because if number one goes down, you run in number two, there's a little bit of fall off at Iowa. You get down to number three, there's a big fall off. Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, those people, they run in number three, he looks just like number one. So that's the difference in the quality and depth. But other than that, it's, it's hard to match the enthusiasm and uh, the importance of having a winning football team in Iowa at, with the other places. I know Coach Rodriguez is experiencing that at Michigan right now, but he's a good coach. He'll get, he'll get it turned around if they give him time.